Welcome back to Chippo Fishing. We're here at wonderful uh, Sharon Harris and uh, got a special guest today, Mr. Jim Cobb. Jim, turn around and say howdy to the folks. Hello, folks. There you go. All right, uh, conditions today. Uh, we've stayed in constant uh, 47 degree temperature. Uh, we're about 16 to 20 foot. And today we're gonna be doing quite a big selection uh we've got tight lining up front with weights and we're gonna we've got what four up front yeah. four up front and we're gonna be long lining which we'll talk about that later today and actually have a separate video and we're long lining you got your lines out put them out in the back we're uh tight lining we're gonna be pulling and we've got six in the back so there you go we've got some bass tournament going on here too but beautiful beautiful sharon harris so all right folks we're getting ready to rock and roll thank you very much all right welcome back to chippo fishing and we've got mr jim cobb and he's going to explain the art of long lining <laughs> well there's not really an art to it you just throw it out and different different length i mean different part you know different lengths out from the boat like i've got a 12 foot i'm running eight foot to 12 foot and i've got maybe the eight foots out maybe 10 foot to 12 foot maybe 12 14 foot out i mean it's just like different variations and I run a little small split shot on the end of the on my out on my line. That kind of helps take it down a little bit, and just basically you just throw it out and kind of let it just drift along behind the boat. Is basically what you're doing. I mean, you can do it out of the back. You can do it off the side. I'm doing it off the side, but you can do it out of the back of the boat. What you know, whichever one you want to do. It. So your different uh, length rods helps keeps the baits out and, yeah. and vary, and you cut, get to yeah. cover a lot, a lot more territory. Like I, like I said, I'm running 12 foot rod on the outside, an eight foot rod inside, and that's four foot spread, and that keeps them from being. I mean, I've run it. I've run a like a eight, uh, ten foot, eight foot, and six foot, and it's like you right there together. But I like mine a wider spread. It keeps it from getting all tangled up and everything. Uh, what about your uh, equipment? What size line do you normally run? The 12 foot rods I'm running, I know I'm running 10 on them. And I think those eight foot rods, I think I'm running eight pound test on them. Right. But I also run a swivel on them, on my long lines. And actually I run them on my tight line too because in the summertime I pull crankbaits. And with a swivel on there, I can, it's a quick, quick in and out. I can, you know, bring it in, I can unhook it, put nothing on, I don't have to worry about cutting the line, retying, all that's just, and I long line crankbaits too. Oh, so you can, you can use jigs or crankbaits. Yeah. And sometimes I'll run, if I run crankbaits, most of the time I'll run planer boards. But now, jig, sometimes with a jig, I'll run a planer board, but most of the time I don't. But crankbaits, I'll run planer boards with them. And the planer boards help keep you a uh, wider spread. Yeah. And like, if you throw it out, like right behind the boat, you put a, let it go out, say maybe 25, 30 yards, then bring it in, put a planer board on it. That planer board will spread it, or keep it away out, away from everything. And it makes it, you know, makes it, that, that way it don't get, basically what it does, it don't get tangled up with everything. Very good, very good. Uh, any other advice for people who want to start longlining? And I mean, like I said, I just I run on my me personally. I run sixteenth ounce jigs and eighth ounce, and I just run different multicolor jig, you know, grubs or plastics on them. Right now, I'm running two inch the two inch plastics, and I run, I run different colors. I don't have one certain color I go to. I just I just run everything. There you go. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Jim. We appreciate it. Tight lines. All right, 
on this, this is one of my eight foot rods. I run a barrel swivel. I put a barrel swivel on the line coming off the main rod. Then I take my leader, tie it onto the barrel swivel. The reason I do that is when these jigs is going through the water, it keeps the line from getting all twisted up. Then so far I run the jigs. Then so far down I'll put like a little bitty split shot. And then I run the jig, the jig head and the plastics. And some of them I will run, like I'll run the swivels on before I come. I'll run, like I said, I long line crankbaits and I just, these I hadn't got them on there, I took them off, but that's the way I'd run these. And that's basically the setup right there. What kind of speeds are you running, Mr. Jim? Right now I'm just got them, I've got it set up. Well, I'm actually going, it's running 1.3, which that's because the wind is pushing us. I normally run, try to run around, say, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, somewhere along, because I've got one of those iPilots that I can set the speed on, set the cruise on, lock everything in. And, but like I said, the day the wind's kind of blowing a little bit, it's kind of, it's pushing me, which I'm, that's fine. I'm, I've got no problem with that. It's like I'm running like 1.2, 1.3, somewhere along there. The fish are going to tell you what they oh, want. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's why, that's why I said I like to run different color. Like this right here is like a, that color, it's like a green and pearl, pearl, something. It's kind of a funny, it's kind Silver. of a funny color. And it's a two inch. I run inch and a half and two inch, but I run all different. I run purple, I run purple, acid rain, all different colors. I got all different colors. And I just, and like, like I said, the fish will tell you what they want. Well, what about your uh, speed when you're doing uh, cranks? When I run crankbaits, I bump it up to about eight, nine, maybe one mile an hour. And I also run, I've run the 300 bandits, which will go down to 11 foot. The 200 bandits will go down to eight foot. And I've got the Arky, which they normally run around six to eight. And when I'm doing that, that's, I kind of bump the speed up that way. It keeps them, it keeps them down. Very good, very good. All right, thank you again, Mr. Jim. No problem. We're marking some good fish here. It's thick, thick, thick. With shad, some crappie, all sorts of stuff mixed in. We have found the fish. Now, let's put them in the boat. All right, thanks again for joining us on Chippo Fishing. Uh, Mr. Jim, we enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to be back out next time, more time. And well, I guess we'll say we'll see you on back. Totally do. There you go. And remember, folks, y'all can't catch them on the couch. So get up on off that couch every time. Try. You may have to vary your techniques, your styles, your depths. You never know, but you've got to try. So, and it's not always catching slabs. Yeah, you know, some videos it's like, oh, slab, baby, slab. But in reality, how long did it take you to make that video? So it's not always catching. It's not always slab. Sometimes it's learning. And take good with the bad. Make the best out of it. Make it a learning experience. And try to figure it out. So today's condition, as you can see, a little fish alarm going off. We're holding from 47, now it's warmed up to 50. We've marked a lot of bait, a whole lot of bait in, in one, one finger of a cove out in the channel. Um, no takers on that. They've got a bass tournament here. I've not seen anybody set a hook. And I'm not saying that they didn't catch them, but I didn't see anybody catch any, any fish as far as the bass goes. but. Yeah, as far as our style of tight lining, uh, pushing and tight lining, pulling and long lining, which we got to learn something about today, that's, that's a bonus right there. Learn from an expert. 
So next time, more time, um, you you guys you got to get out there and try. And don't ever give up, man. Don't ever give up. Take your worst day and make it your best day. All right. Thanks again for joining me. Uh, hey, my, the number of viewers and subscriptions and watch time, all that stuff, all those numbers, they're actually increasing, which is good. But what what's important is you guys are getting something out of it. So thanks again, and we'll talk to you next time. Tight lines, folks. Peace. And I'm barking fish like crazy right through here. I'm going to leave a big bite of stick of dynamite if I hit it.